Hey there, curious minds. Have you ever felt your cheeks suddenly turn as red as a tomato? Maybe when someone said, hey, you're awesome, or when you tripped in front of the whole class? Well, guess what? That's your body playing a sneaky little trick on you. Today, we're diving into the science of blushing, why it happens, why it's super weird, and why it makes you look like a walking traffic light. Buckle up because things are about to get red hot. All right, picture this. You're in school. You just stood up to answer a question. You're confident. Then someone says, you have toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Ah, suddenly your face goes redder than a strawberry in a sauna. That's blushing. But what in the world causes it? Is it magic? Is it aliens? Is it spicy tacos? Nope, it's science. Blushing is your body's way of saying, oh no, I'm feeling emotional. Whether you're embarrassed, shy, or even in love, ooh, your body has a reaction. And it all starts with a tiny little part of your brain called the hypothalamus. Sounds like an animal name, right? I am hypothalamus the wise. So when you feel an intense emotion, maybe your crush waves at you or you fall down in gym class in front of everyone, your hypothalamus goes, alert, alert, we're feeling feelings. And then it sends signals through your body faster than a squirrel on a trampoline. That signal hits your autonomic nervous system. That's the part of your body that does stuff without you thinking, like breathing or digesting your lunch or remembering the lyrics to Baby Shark against your will. Your autonomic nervous system sends a message to your blood vessels. Hey, open up. And your blood vessels, especially the ones in your face and neck, go, roger that. They get wider, which means more blood flows into your cheeks. And boom, you're red as a raspberry. That, my friends, is the science of blushing. It's called vasodilation, big science word alert. All it means is your blood vessels are expanding and more blood in your cheeks equals more red. Basically, your face is doing a flashing neon sign that says, I feel things. And get this, humans are the only animals that blush. That's right, your cat might get embarrassed when it falls off the couch, but it's not going red in the face. Nope, that's a human special move. Like double jointed elbows or the ability to eat an entire pizza and then feel deep, deep regret. So why would humans even evolve blushing? Well, scientists think it might be a way to show others we're being honest. When you blush, it's like your body is saying, hey, I didn't mean to fart in the elevator. I'm really sorry. And people trust that. It's like truth serum but on your face. But blushing doesn't only happen when you're embarrassed. Nope. It can also show up when you're nervous, excited, angry, or even exercising. Ever seen someone run a mile and come back looking like a tomato that just got out of spin class? That's the same blood vessel trick in action. And here's a weird fact bomb. You can't make yourself blush on purpose. Try it, go ahead. Right now, just say, okay, body, blush. Nothing, right? Your body doesn't listen to that command like it's a dog. It only blushes when it feels the feels. Now imagine being a superhero whose only power is blushing. Someone robs a bank and you walk in dramatically and blush. Villains are so confused they just leave. Was that a warning blush? Should we be scared? And don't worry if you blush a lot. Some people's bodies are just more dramatic than others. It's like their faces are ready to go full red at any second. Meanwhile, some people never blush. Like, never ever. They're just out here looking calm and cool while the rest of us are turning into hot sauce every time someone mentions our middle school dance moves. Let's do a super speedy recap. What makes you blush? 
One, you feel an emotion. Two, your hypothalamus freaks out. Three, your nervous system throws a party. Four, your blood vessels open up like they're saying, Tay Day. And five, your cheeks go full cherry pie mode. Science. Oh, and by the way, some people even blush on their necks, ears, or chests. It's like their whole upper body joins in like, hey, don't forget about us. So if you've ever felt your ears get hot after your crush said hi, yeah, that's blush backup singers right there. And here's a fun fact to blow your socks off. There's a thing called chronic blushing. It's when people blush a lot, even when they're not that embarrassed. It can be kind of tricky, but guess what? Even that has science behind it. Their nervous systems are just on super sensitive blush mode. So next time your face lights up like a fire truck after you trip over your own feet in public, just remember, that's your body doing something only humans can do. It's your inner science showing itself to the world with red cheeks. And if anyone laughs, just say, hey, I'm a science experiment in progress. Then strut away proudly like the glowing tomato you are. All right, all right, settle in because we're not done yet. If you thought blushing was just about turning red when you're embarrassed, think again. Did you know that blushing has been studied by scientists for hundreds of years? That's right, even Charles Darwin, yeah, the evolution guy, wrote an entire book chapter just about blushing. He called it the most peculiar and most human of all expressions. That's how special it is. Darwin was fascinated by the fact that blushing happens when you're aware of being seen. So it's not just embarrassment, it's the fact that someone else sees your embarrassment. Like, if you mess up a word while talking to your dog, you don't blush. But if you do it in front of your entire class, hello, red face. Now let's add in a little something called self-conscious emotions. These include embarrassment, guilt, pride, and shame. They're called that because they require you to think about yourself and how others see you. And guess what? Blushing is a huge part of that system. It's your body's way of waving a red flag that says, oops, I did something awkward. Let's talk about the facial feedback loop. That sounds super high tech, right? But it just means that your facial expressions can actually influence your feelings. So when you blush, your brain might think, oh no, I must be embarrassed and then you actually feel even more embarrassed. It's a blush spiral. Here's a funny twist. Some people blush when they get compliments. That's right. You say, nice haircut, and suddenly their face is glowing like Rudolph's nose. That's not shame or guilt. That's just good old fashioned attention overload. And don't forget about rosacea a skin condition that causes redness and looks like blushing, but it's not caused by emotions. It's actually inflammation. So if someone's cheeks are red all the time, it might be that, not a permanent case of stage fright. Now here's a wild science tidbit. Blushing can actually make people like you more. Studies show that when someone blushes, others see them as more trustworthy and likable. That's right, your tomato face is actually winning people over. Who knew? Before we go, let's answer a burning question. Can robots blush? The answer is, sadly no. They don't have skin or blood vessels or the ability to feel awkward about calling their teacher mom. Yep, we've all done it, no judgment. But maybe one day in the future, will have blushing robots. They'll spill juice on the carpet and suddenly their metallic cheeks light up red LEDs. That's when you know humanity has truly peaked. So to wrap it all up in one big shiny bow, 
Blushing is a magical, emotional, scientific, very human thing. It involves your brain, your nervous system, your face, and sometimes your ears and neck. It helps us connect with others, signals our feelings without saying a word, and makes sure we never forget that time we waved back at someone who wasn't waving at us. And now, my fellow red-cheeked explorers, if you love this wild ride through the world of blushing, check out the rest of our videos. We've got brain-bending mysteries, laugh-out-loud science tales, and answers to questions you didn't even know you had. Like, what if you could sneeze with your eyes open? Or, why do farts smell different in the bathtub? Yep, we go there. So don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button like it just embarrassed you in front of your crush. Stay curious, stay awesome, and remember everyone blushes, but not everyone gets to learn why. See you in the next video, you marvelous little science sponge.